Expansion packs are the most expensive tier of downloadable content, and unsurprisingly, Sims 4 is no different. But if you are wanting to add some cool additional features to your Sims 4 game, and not too sure which ones to buy, then have no fear because we're here to help, as we'll be taking a look at the top 10 best downloadable expansion packs that you can buy for your Sims 4 game. Although just before we do go into the video, if you do like this type of content and you would like to see some more top 10 videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like this video. We do also stream over on Twitch, I will leave all the links within the description box below. And with all that said, let's just get straight into the video, these are the top 10 best DLC expansion packs that you can download as of today for your Sims 4 game. Number 10, The Sims 4 Cottage Living, an expansion worth considering for those who love the idea of farming. Cottage Living puts a spin on the standard gameplay by letting Sims essentially live off the land and raise animals such as cows and chickens. It's pretty satisfying, particularly when combined with an optional challenge that requires having actual ingredients on hand to cook a meal. Aesthetically, this expansion is quite pleasing, but beyond that, the neighborhood struggle to stand out or do much that's ambitious. Number 9, The Sims 4 Discover University. This expansion adds, not surprisingly, university life to the game, and it's pretty decently fleshed out. There's a lot to like about this expansion, from the greater emphasis on time management, as your sim tries to balance studying while maintaining a social life, to the objectives such as coursework and exams feeling somewhat meaningful as they contribute towards the final degree. Another highlight to this expansion is a selection of clothing items with a vast range of current everyday wear. Number 8, The Sims 4 City Living. If you want to rent a small apartment and enjoy the city life, which includes experiencing cultural festivals and hanging out at karaoke bars, instead of owning a house in the suburbs, then this expansion is worth considering. An underrated part of the pack is the addition of more diverse food, which can be bought at stalls or cooked at home, with your Sims characters being able to use chopsticks for some dishes. Number 7, The Sims 4 High School Years. For the first time in this series, players can follow their Sims as they attend classes and get into trouble at Copperdale High. A good amount of features to help capture the teen experience, as well as new locations such as theme parks and a thrift and bubble tea store combo that offers a lot of decent hangout spots. This expansion has been reported to be a little bit buggy, but hopefully that will be ironed out over time. Number 6, The Sims 4 Island Living. While the suburban life can often be dominated by the micromanagement of your Sims, the island world presents a more relaxing and carefree vibe that encourages you to soak in your surroundings. From the beaches and the waterfalls to the residents' traditions and festivals, the only thing missing is how the mermaid's life state fails to make much of a lasting impact. Number 5, The Sims 4 Get It Together. The amount of content on this pack is arguably a little on the light side, particularly when you compare it to some of the later packs. But what is in this pack really stands out and enhances the games in several ways, especially if socializing is a big part of your Sims experience. The club feature is a terrific way of arranging get togethers and mingling with friends and neighbors, while DJ and dancing skills provide more options for a night out. There's also the European inspired Windenburg, a truly beautiful scenic world that is a joy to play in. Number 4, The Sims 4 Growing Together. While the headline doesn't seem as impressive in comparison to some of the other expansions, this DLC offers new mechanics like family dynamics and social compatibility and makes interactions and relationships between Sims more subtle and varied, and on top of that you also have the milestones to help you celebrate a Sims lifetime. The infant's life stage is also significantly bumped out in this pack, and the content itself is worth experiencing and does evolve large parts of the core gameplay in a satisfying way. Number 3, The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. The majority of this game's world is based on American or European locations, so to have a more Japanese-inspired environment certainly gives this game a much-needed shakeup. The snow activities might get most of the attention, rock climbing is a particular highlight that makes the world feel bigger in a scope, but the bathhouses, hiking routes outside of town, and hot pot are just some of the many things that make this expansion really stand out. The inclusion of an option for The Sims to take their shoes off in the house is in this expansion as well, although perhaps this should have already been an added feature in the base game. 
Number two, The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Those who aren't really into pets probably should consider other expansions, but if you are a cat or dog lover, then this is close to an essential pack. As the name suggests, the add-on lets you customize feline and canine friends for your household, from their breed, to their personalities and even their accessories. Cats and Dogs are adorable in the game, helped by a number of different ways Sims can interact and bond with their pets. There are some other cool features to this pack too, such as the world of Brindleton Bay and the option to run a veterinary clinic, but becoming a pet owner is easily the main attraction to this pack. Number 1. The Sims 4 Seasons while all of the other packs are somewhat dependent on whether you're on board with the concept and how well it complements your playstyle, this is the only expansion that we consider a must-have for all players. This expansion dramatically enhances the core of this game and considered by some to be a staple. First and foremost, the calendar feature is a game changer for The Sims 4, as the addition of the four seasons brings a greater sense of time progression and realism to the experience. Hot and cold weather outfits are crucial for Sims to cope, as you'll be dealing with heat waves and sub series temperatures. On top of that, the gardening career is a pretty nice bonus too, and offers Sims the option to work from home as they look after your plants all year around. And with that said, if you are looking to pick up an expansion from the Sims 4 series, then the Sims 4 Seasons will certainly be a good option. And so there you pretty much have it. Those were the top 10 best expansions that you can download as of today for your Sims 4 game. So what did you think of this top 10 list? Do you agree with our list? Or perhaps that you think that there was an expansion from the Sims 4 series that wasn't included and that should have been on the list. If so, do let us know in the comment section below, I would love to hear it. And of course, not forgetting that if you do like this type of content and you would like to see some more top 10 videos, then of course, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and of course, like this video. I'll also leave some more videos at the end of this video if you would like to check them out. Thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you all next time.